Hi guys, let's assume you have dismantled the battery pack of a failed laptop, like I did in the video above. The result is lots of lithium ion 18650 cells. But before we use them, we have to make sure that they are in usable condition. This means that the voltage should never be below 3 volts. And the voltages of all your cells should be approximately the same. Maybe you also have a small DIY solar power system like me. The energy is stored inside a small lead acid battery. And there are two USB charging outputs. But what if you want to store more energy, which allows you to charge your USB gadgets during the night? Well, in this case a USB power bank comes in handy. It consists of a micro USB charging input and a 5V 1A USB output. The USB output module can be switched on and off with this switch. Four lithium ion 18650 cells are wired in parallel. So let's go and build a power bank like this. So what else do we need? First is TP4056 charge and discharge protection module. The battery connects to the B plus and B minus pins. The load to the out plus and out minus pins. This module ensures that the lithium cells are not overcharged or over discharged. It has two indicator lights and the charging current is 1 amp. This 1 amp USB output module converts the 3.7 volt battery voltage to 5 volts. It will be connected to a sliding switch which allows to disable this module if we don't need it. And of course we also need this 4-way battery compartment for 18650 lithium ion cells. All 4 cells will be wired in parallel. So that's it. Let's start with the build. And yes, we also need a slider switch which is able to handle about 2 amps. First we want to cut all wires to the same length. The wire ends are then stripped about 8 mm long. All four wires are then twisted together. After that the wires are soldered together. The battery plus wires are now extended and protected with shrink tube. Battery plus and battery minus is then soldered to the corresponding tabs on the charging module. Double sided tape is used to attach the battery compartment to a piece of wood. The charging module is also attached with double sided tape. The output wires are now soldered to the charging module. The switch and the output module are also attached with double sided tape. Output minus connects directly from the charging module to the output module. Output plus connects from the charging module to the switch and from there to the output module. That's it, finished. Make sure that you insert the batteries the right way around. Now it's time for a function test. Will it explode? First we want to try to charge our DIY power bank from this one. This USB charger doctor will show us volts and amps. Fingers crossed, let's plug it in. As you can see, the voltage is a bit below 5 volts with this power bank. This is normal. But as you can see, the charging current is exactly 1 amp. Works. Now we want to charge this power bank from our DIY power bank. Nothing. But this is because it's switched off. Looks good. The output voltage is exactly 5 volts. The output current is less than 1 amp. But this is because this power bank is almost fully charged already. I have also tested with other devices. And we also have a nice and stable 5 volt output at 1 amp charging current. So this little project was a success. If you want to build one, you can find the parts links in the description. 
If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Bye!